Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. It is September 20th, 2024, the day before the huge Dubois-Joshua fight. That's how people should think about it, because Dubois is the champion going into the fight. Let's talk about the concerns both sides should have, but first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, folks, this fight is going to be off the chain from the opening bell, whatever happens. Let's start with the challenger. He's already been champion twice. Anthony Joshua, the Olympic gold medalist. Right? If you're a Joshua fan, one of your primary concerns should be the pacing of the fight. I believe Joshua fans believe that their guy can box, right? They believe that Joshua has a pretty good jab, right? They see no reason why if this fight makes it to the middle to later rounds, and you have to ask the question, Will it make it to the middle rounds? But if this fight makes it to the middle to the later rounds, they can see a scenario where Joshua decodes Dubois, starts outboxing him. And of course, I believe many of us suspect that Dubois loses focus in the later rounds Right? Even in a big fight like the Usyk fight, Dubois can reach a point, even with an unbeaten record as he had in the Joe Joyce fight, where Dubois panics a bit internally and thinks to himself, I can't beat this guy tonight. I'm behind on the scorecards. Right? This guy's jab is too much for me. I'm going to take a knee. So the Joshua people want to get through the early rounds. They know that they don't have a Nigel Ben type guy. Right? Ben against the Rand Barkley. Please Google that fight. Who's going to come across the ring in the first round and go hunting. They understand. They don't have a Lennox Lewis type guy. Look up Lewis against Andrew Galata, who is going to reach the conclusion a minute into the first round, this guy can't match me on hand speed. This guy is not defensively blessed. Let me open up right now. Right? I believe Joshua fans know they don't have, controversial statement, a Philip Ergovic. Right? Hindsight deceives us at times. Ergovic opens up on Dubois in the first round. Right? They had sparred just like Joshua has sparred with Dubois. Ergovic knew Dubois is not defensively blessed. Dubois people, be real. You saw the right hands that he was taking against Ergovic. Right? Even though Joshua hits harder than Ergovic, we understand he doesn't have the Nigel Band, Lennox Lewis, Philippe Ergovic mindset. He's not the guy who's going to go out there and think, you know what, this guy can't block my shots. My right hand is getting in. I'm going to trust this right hand like I would trust an axe chopping down a redwood tree. I'm going to throw it repeatedly until this guy shows me that he can block it, that he can roll away from it. Right? You know you don't have that guy in this contest. You understand that Joshua is going to spend, unless forced, the first round reading the lay of the land, don't you? Right? He knows he's in against a big puncher. He knows this guy has had more than one professional fight. Right? This guy is not Francis Ngannou. So I believe the Joshua people understand the first round is crucial. What's 
the pace of the fight. They don't want their guy overextended. Right? You saw, by the way, and it's a tragedy, this fight hasn't happened. Right? Derek Chisora. Right? Joshua hasn't fought him. Right? Chisora is in that Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder group that Joshua somehow, as a contemporary, has not fought. But you saw a similar starter to Joshua fight Derek Chisora. You saw Usyk fight Derek Chisora. Now, Usyk's immensely talented, but Usyk is not a seek and destroy in the first round guy. Right? Just understand the mindset. So Derek Chisora in the first round, the first round against Usyk comes out both guns blazing. Chisora backs up Usyk. Chisora lets Usyk know, player, this is the heavyweight division. Right, whether or not you want to get to know me, you're going to have to know me. Right now, early, first round, right? Which way is the first round going to go? Folks, you need to be on pins and needles. If it's a polite first round, if Anthony Joshua gets to stay outside behind a jab, and he is a good one, look at that Joe Parker fight, and if he gets the pacing he wants where he doesn't have to overextend himself, Understand Joshua is going to be thinking. Joshua is going to be gathering information. He's going to be downloading whatever it is that Dubois brings in the ring. Joshua will have the fight exactly where he wants it. Now the risk to Joshua, and it's a big risk, is that he might get pulled out of his comfort zone. Right? If you're fighting a defensively blessed fighter, right? let's say you're fighting Canelo, and you notice he's coming in, and you notice he has a short neck, and you notice he has his head tucked, right? you know, this is outside of Canelo's offense. You notice he's short, and you notice he's able to even get shorter. He can bend his knees, he can bend at the waist. Right? You're already cautious because you don't want to get caught with big shots. Right? You don't want Canelo to get inside and start working over your ribcage. But you also know you're not going to empty the gun. Because you see where you're going to have a hard time finding Canelo. Right? He's in front of you, but yet he's not quite in front of you. He's a little bit off at the side, and you understand, okay, how am I going to find his chin? When the guy's coming in with a short neck and he has his head tilted. Right? I have to get through if I'm throwing a hook a shoulder to hit him. So you're cautious. Right? You also notice, too, that you can move away from Canelo. I know Canelo showed better foot speed against both Charlo and Berlanga, right? But you know you can move away from Canelo. Right? So the first few rounds are civil rounds. But understand, it's the fighter who's not like Canelo. It's the fighter who's like Daniel Dubois who gets you out of your own pacing. What happens if Joshua, who just stopped and got in two rounds, comes out and thinks to himself, man, I can land my right hand. Look at this guy. His head's not tilted. His head's up more. He's inconsistent. Right? Where's he standing a little bit off at the pocket? If I step to him, this guy's not exactly 